So this is the situation. We are top of the league. After 19 matches played, we are three points clear of Manchester United. We are six points clear of Manchester City. We are sitting right on top of the perch. Arsenal has won the league for five straight years. They are in eighth. It looks for all the world like there will be a new winner. We are perfect in the Champions League, six wins and six matches. We have guaranteed qualification in the top eight with two matches to play, which is crazy. We are in the League Cup semifinal against Nottingham Forest. We've got them home and away today while we play the January transfer window. And then we will probably have a rematch with Chelsea in a cup final after our FA Cup final defeat last season against Chelsea. And the FA Cup also kicks off today with an absolutely tasty tie against Deadpool and it's always sunny in Philadelphia in the third round of the FA. And we start the stream with a definitely small match at home against Manchester City on January 1st. Totally small deal. Not even a big deal. Barely even care about it, you know? It's, uh, it's definitely just not a big deal and not even worried. We owe Man City, apparently. So let's start this off with a fat dub. A giant, obese, mortally obese dub. This would be nice. There's not a lot going on in this game. Just a set-piece goal. Ay, 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 goal! Gonzalo Inacio! Oh, yes! Tall, have my children. Can you just blame Khan and Sully, uh, Sully Hamdi? Uh, I could never say his name, but I know who you're talking about. Their downfall began with that. Yes, I remember Oliver Khan being involved in some of the awkwardness. But uh, I mean, the, uh, to, to have it be your downfall that you're in the Champions League quarterfinal and you're just not going to win the cup or the league that year is a testament to how good they are. Also, a testament to how good McIntosh is. Thank you very much, Paul McIntosh. Um, chat, chat, chat. <laughs> we are a lot better than Manchester City. This is a wonderful development. When we had the best attacking trio in history, uh, it was, uh, it was, that was, 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 did they win the Champions League in the last year of the MSN? Was that, that was, was that the year that they turned around the deficit against PSG? Did they win the Champions League that year? No, okay. That was the year that the Greek god was in Rome. Got it. Lots to Juve the round after. Oh, okay. You're getting multiple answers here. Point is, they didn't win it. They won it first year of MSN? What? When did MSN end? When did Neymar go to PSG? Six years ago? Seven years ago? So fortunately, just a tight thigh for George. Um, we really just need to get him all the way up to match sharpness. But that is an amazing win that we just cranked out against Manchester City. I am incredibly happy with the team we put together. They're playing tremendous ball right now. We've just got to keep this up. We just controlled the hell out of that match. We were just able to win it very comfortably. Uh, and that puts us in a good spot. But, you know, there's a lot of matches left to play. Long season left. So we learned our lesson last season. All right, so this is our short list. These are our best players that we currently know about. This is Adilson. I've never liked Adilson. You know, who I do like is Dominic Pavluk. I have always liked Dominic Pavluk. And that is because Dominic Pavluk is an absolutely amazing player. I don't know if we want to throw that 131 million. We do have it. We do have the 131 million in the budget. Um, I don't know if we want to chuck our entire hard-earned transfer budget at one guy and Dominic Pavlak, but he is one pretty spectacular dude. Oh man, we are gonna do it, aren't we? Amazingly, it seems there is somehow almost no reason for us not to do this. We have managed our finances brilliantly. This guy even adapts well, and we do already have a lot of Germans in our team. We've got more Germans than English guys. Schwartz. Oh, yes, the Schwartz. Fine. I'm emotionally ready to spend money. 
We have matched Dominic Pavlok's $131 million release clause. I am nauseous. I feel queasy. That suggest is wrong, probably. Uh, no relationship with Simon Gutza, but I don't think he's going to hate me too much. <laughs> God, that's so funny. Wow. Like all that patience that you have there, Goat, so that's really funny. Goodness gracious. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Listen to me, Goat, so listen to me. All right. We're going to remove the 10% yearly salary increase. We're going to drop that salary down to there. I am going to give you team of the year bonuses, a cool million dollars, top goal scorer bonus at a cool million dollars. All right, I'm going to give you an assist bonus for every freaking assist that you cook out over the course of this contract. And I'm going to put that at $40,000 per assist. All right, I'm going to give you a win the Champions League bonus, right, of a cool $500,000. And I will give you a winning the Premier League bonus. I uh, we don't need that. Eighteen point seven million per year base salary on a five year contract. Twenty two point eight million per year Im uh, wage impact expected overall. That's the deal we're looking at. That's the deal we want to do. Hey, what's up? My name's Chad. I'm here on behalf of an unnamed Premier League club, and I would like to negotiate a transfer. Uh, yeah, totally different. It's definitely not Tottenham, so you totally negotiate again. <laughs> Oh my god where's calvin dang it i need to sign some okay so it's the first by the end of the window we should have the ability to go after him again so i'm actually not going to spend the uh, the rest of the money that we have uh can I, I i can't sell him you just don't fit my plans the minute if i'm not a good fit here then i need to leave Why can't I agree with that? I'll look to find you a new club. I can't agree with that. Okay, cool. So Simone Scott has handed in a transfer request. Kind of expected that. He has not played up to his requirement for playing. And I, yeah, he wants to play for Italy at the Euros. So we are going to work on a January move for Simone Scotta. But I will not, you know, I'm not going to be afraid to uh, wait until the summer if I need to. So Canelio Muchaitkaya is going to start at striker because why the hell not? Rico Lewis is not going to be on the bench. George Shikichi and Bellarmino Seca are taking five after they were like recovering from their injuries or whatever. Simone Skoda. You know what? I am going to put him in the shop window. We're playing freaking Wrexham. Uh, we should be able to do this perfectly fine. Should be able to handle this. And also Luca Jash, the youngster from Australia. First appearance for the club after so many appearances on the bench. Get after it, Luca Jash. All right, little FA Cup nonsense. Us against Ryan Reynolds and Wrexham FC. We're going to add a really nasty chapter to their TV show. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No wonder we haven't scored, dude. No wonder we haven't scored. Chat. God. You're just letting me get away with that. Okay. <sighs> Please stand and remove your caps for the performance of the FA Cup anthem. Uh, 
It's the Ave Cup. The Ave Cup. The Ave Cup. All right, good. You know, that was a weird first half. Playing in such a historic and important tournament like the FA Cup without having heard the FA Cup anthem. It just feels dirty. It feels wrong. And I'm glad we could get that done. But what about Man City? Hurry up and sort them up. I mean, it. well, here's the thing. It hit, like, if people keep saying, well, what about, oh, okay, we just scored. Goal! It's Rosales and Tottenham leads against Wrexham. And Rosales stares into the Regsum fans. Really? That's where we're at? We scored on a set piece the 63rd minute against what I think is a League One team. And we're staring into the fans and I don't even get a replay. All right. With Manchester City, what you're dealing with is a lot of different instances of trying to determine how much they inflated the value of things to inflate their revenue whether it be ticket sales or this sponsor or that spot that requires a lot of legwork and a lot of proper investigation because you know that the high powered lawyers for Manchester City are going to oh nice they're going to tie you up at each point right yeah oh that's a problem oh that's a problem Daniel Mardani makes it 2-1 and all of a sudden, Wrexham's the only team with a goal from the run of play. Mom, I'm scared. Luton was always going to be outgunned. Those parachute payments are going to change the club, though. Luton has been changed forever by the fact that it got into the Premier League, whether it stays or not. Oh, one more. Indrik, thank you. Finally, Wrexham's been put away. It's 3-1 Tottenham Hotspur. Indrik had to come in to score the goal. And we advance in the FA Cup to the fourth round. They are rigged to keep the big clubs big. I mean, yeah, that's my complaint about FFP, obviously. That has been my complaint about FFP for a long time. It's rigged to keep the big clubs big. As it is. Wow, our boy Cabela Mokoen is going to Manchester United. The player we brought to St. Etienne for just 325000 from our old stomping ground in South Africa is going to Manchester United for 81 million, potentially up to $90 million to St. Etienne. Oh, the draw. Give me somebody easy. That's all I care about. Somebody easy. Somebody easy. Stockport away, banger. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> away against Nottingham Forest in the League Cup semifinal. Kind of when you start to care about the League Cup. Okay. That's that. Gongsted, Lewis, Hato, Inacio, Vandeven, uh, Guerra, Rodriguez, uh, Indrik, Seca, Shikichi, Kieran Tall. We want to deliver on the road in this first leg of the League Cup. I actually do a little eye of faith in you. We don't have we don't have a lot of other big matches coming up. Come on, boys! <laughs> Give them the goods now. Give them the goods. All right, it is getting itchy though. I'm gonna take it off. It's getting quite itchy. Ooh, Seca, Tall. That was all offside. Every part of that was offside. But anytime we need to negotiate with the agent, I've got the wig right here. I'm ready. I can throw it back on. I'm unstoppable. Didn't know you were Swedish, dude. Nice. You know, you know, blonde hair dye is purchased more per capita in Sweden than any other country in the world. Love that fact. Wow. Sent that dude to the shops. Indre. How did we not score? Oh, Kieran Tall. Oh, there we go. Indrik taking it wide, getting it back. I mean, how have we not scored? Oh, Bellarmino. God, you were way too good to ever make a mistake. I'm offended every time he makes a mistake. Oh, my goodness. Indrik. 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 Gera, please. Oh, I'm numb. I am numb. I am numb. 
I'm numb. I'm numb and I'm dumb. And I'm proud. I am numb. <laughs> that is the best midfielder in the world doing that. Nottingham, dude, we just can't score. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five consecutive halves in the League Cup semifinal. We have not scored a goal. I had 2.39 XG, and we didn't have a penalty. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, can I? Oh, no. Jarrell Hato on the yellow. Don't like that. Him and Andrick. Very frisky these days. There it is. Bellarmino Seca skipping through two dudes. Oh, it's Kieran, yes! Oh, oh that's mine. You are not running by Jarrell Hato. Thank you very much. Oh, good confident passing from Gongsted. Ooh, oh, oh, look out, world. Here comes Bellarmino, Seca, baby, all the way home. United just lost. United just lost, which means we have a match in hand and uh, two matches in hand and a three-point lead. We have a match in hand and a nine-point lead on Man City. We say nothing. We say nothing. You know why? Because we freaking bottled it last year. That's why. We say nothing. This is our second full year at the helm of Tottenham, and we have built an absolute beast. And we are trying to keep it rolling right now. Oh, McNuggets, get out of here. Ooh, that was offside. Oh, please don't be hit as Dane. Look, that's not a country mile, all right? He was offside. He was undoubtedly offside, but he was not offside by a country mile. Yeah, all right, sick, dude. <laughs> ref, no. Then the ref looked me dead in my eye sockets and my windows to the soul, and he said, yes. And we are down 1-0 on the road. That is not where you want to be. Oh, boy. Oh, All right. Come on. Good. Force the stupid long ball to nobody. Rodriguez, dang it. You're like the Empire State Building, man. Win the header. Burj Khalifa in the midfield, and he just, oh my god. Oh, yes, there we go. Immediate response from Mujahid Kaya, thank you. Uh, there's nothing happening. There is absolutely nothing happening in this match, and that is the, you know, we went after this early, too. We have gotten incredibly offensive very early, and it has done absolutely nothing. I mean, it's just an unbelievably disappointing match. Like that, even that. That pass is so bad from Inacio. That is so bad. Nothing. We didn't deserve a single thing. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Completely unacceptable loss. We do have Nottingham Forest second leg of the League Cup semifinal. So this is a big deal. This match right here is a big deal. All the best out there tonight. Have fun. I'm going to hit a wall of I have faith in yous. 2-0 lead coming home against Nottingham Forest in the League Cup semifinal. We have got to be able to take care of the business here. All right, Javi Guerra, Marcelo Enrique. Vamos a la playa. We can go, dude. We, it was the Europa League, though. So we're still hunting Champions League, Premier League. You know, we want to get all the way to the top of the game in this journeyman. We want the Prem. We want the Champions League. We want the FA Cup. Still in all of those things, this is the League Cup semifinal. Uh, second leg, we are up 3-0 on aggregate right now. So that's why I'm feeling so relaxed in a semi. That's uh, what the...
What the f I have never seen in my life I've never seen anything like that. Did he side foot this? Dude, what the f I, what, Okay. I'm gonna go get Isaac Newton and have him explain to me how the hell that was possible. Uh, what's the highest transfer fee you've received on this game? Outside of Saudi clubs, just got 200 million for Jeremy Pino from Man City. Uh, the highest overall fee, he just got sent off. You. It went to the other guy. Ha I don't get it. <laughs> They're both fouling the sh- They're fouling him so hard, man. And Gara's on a yellow and Kazu Khan does not. They're literally both fouling him at the same time. And they just gave the yellow to Kanda instead of giving a second yellow to Gara. Well, that's super amenable, Jordan. I really appreciate that, Jordan. That is incredible. They're they're both lunging at the exact same time. I didn't even see Kazu. And then I saw the card go up and I was like, oh, that's it. That sucks. Javi Guerra just got sent off with a couple minutes left. And it's like, nope, he's fine. Javi Guerra dodging the bullet of bullets. And now he scores. Oh, yes, he does. Do you already have any plans to 2026 World Cup as content or maybe TV work? Uh, very early tentative plans. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, we're still up two goals on aggregate, but that's just annoying that they're going to get a draw out of this. All right, whatever. Frustrated we gave up a couple of goals, but we got the job done. We are headed to the League Cup final. It's insane they got two goals at a point three, and I got two goals at a 3.29. What, what, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. League Cup final. That's what matters the most. We got the job done. We handled the home and away against Nottingham Forest. We navigated it. And we are still alive in all four competitions that we need to be alive in. Wow, Everton. Bold today, aren't we? Goodness gracious. The 8-2 formation? My least favorite of all the formations. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and we are going to start in this tactic. I am going to start with my fullbacks up because I would like very much to keep them in their half of the field and having our fullbacks up allows us to step up and kind of close down their outlets on the outside more. All right, cool. Let's do this. Let's ride, brother. Premier League at home against Everton. Uh, relax. We were freaking out in our last match and we lost just our third match of the entire season in the Prem at Wolves 2-1, to one, which was super disappointing. Oh, it's in! There we go! He broke in through on an own goal. Uh, okay. KO day. Oh! Oh, it's in! What?! It's an absolutely absurd goal from Harvey Guerra. A ridiculous skipping deflection in the rain that has gone all the way in and by Valdemar. Set. How refreshing after all of the like robo calls and like scam calls that we answer for fun about me being Esteban. Like how nice was that? That was such a human conversation. I was just waiting for her to hang up because like she was trying to sell Rodney something. But that was a legitimate, like, I got the wrong number or the wrong number was written down or whatever. Like, just incredibly wholesome. Like, if that girl actually wanted to sell me something, I'd at least be interested in hearing about it, even though I'm, I'm not Rodney. Because she was, like, actually a human being. That's the first normal, like, because I get random calls from random numbers all the time because of the, the memes that we've been keeping up with for a long time. But... That's probably the first time I've had a completely normal human interaction when answering the phone on one of those. That was wild. Wolves just beat Chelsea, too, all right? They're not that bad. <laughs> Wolves just beat Chelsea, too. They're apparently cooking with the sauce right now. How's the relegation battle going? It's Bristol City, Norwich, and West Brom hanging right next to Nottingham Forest. I see, I see, I see. We are, of course, 
hanging out up top. Newcastle's vibe and Aston Villa's vibe and Liverpool. Leicester up in seventh. Arsenal all the way down to 10th after firing Pep Guardiola. So based on my understanding of how Irish names are pronounced, this is probably like Bob. But I don't know how, and they don't have an Irish pronunciation thing on Google Translate. So we're going to copy that. How to say that. All righty. Let's take a gander here. Accent in Ireland. Keelan. That's it. Burn the whole island. Burn it to the ground. There's no shot. And it's Chelsea. It's Chelsea at Wembley for the League Cup final. They have beaten Brentford. 80th minute penalty for Santi Jimenez, my former player, to ice it. And for the second straight year, we play Chelsea in a cup final. We lost 1-0 in the FA Cup final last year. And if we look at this positively, it is an opportunity for revenge. Um, if we look at this negatively, it is an opportunity to, uh, collapse in on ourselves like a dying star and then wallow in the pain to follow. We're going to go with option A if we have the choice. It's a Champions League night in London. It's Tottenham Hotspur who have had an absolutely scintillating Champions League season so far against Galatasaray, who are playing to get themselves into the Champions League knockouts. They've also been brilliant on their standards. They are in 17th in the Champions League at the moment, but Tottenham Hotspur are the only team to have won their first six Champions League matches this season. And they have already guaranteed qualification into the final eight of the Champions League. They are ostensibly playing for pride and $3 million, which... I'll take $3 million. Minus in it. Thank you so much for the prime, dude. I appreciate you supporting the stream with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Losing at home to Galatasaray in the Champions League. That is what dreams are made of. Even if it's a meaningless Champions League game, I thoroughly plan on winning all eight of my Champions League matches for the first time. He used the agility, yeah, but he didn't use it to cross. He used it to shoot into the side netting like an idiot. Oh! oh what a goal by King Kazu Konda! Oh my goodness, Kazu Konda! With a spectacular volley! Bellamino Seca tees him up and Kazu Konda. The Japanese wonder boy. All right, keep the highlight going. Keep the highlight going. Keep the highlight going. Yes. Keep the highlight going. Got to look at the fullbacks here. We got to look at the fullbacks. Thank you. Up to the winger and use that pace. You just came in and you were so fast. Thank you. We will take that. Everybody. Except for the keeper. Oh, McIntosh! Oh, he's won it! Oh, he has won it! It's McIntosh! And they have gone and gone all the way back against Galatasaray. Polly McIntosh! And it's seven wins from seven in the Champions League for Tottenham Hotspur. And the immaculate Champions League season continues. Seven wins in seven matches. Home field defended against Turkish giants Galatasaray. <sighs> Smackintosh. Hell yeah, dude. What a... Oh, wow. Last chance of the match. McIntosh wins the corner, then gets it bounced out to him. He settles, volleys it in. Tottenham stay top of the Champions League table by four points.